Praise the Lord. This is your girl, Pastor Teresa Moon, with her apostolic voice. I tell you, this is the day that the Lord has made. I'm excited about God today. I know that when you woke up this morning, you couldn't do nothing but give God praise for what he has already done in your life. I'm telling you, yesterday at church, I felt the spirit of the living God just moving on my life, breaking those cycles. It's time to break those cycles and start exceeding past what we think. Amen. It's time breaking cycles that the enemy tried to put chains about us from generational curses. We coming out of that stuff. Amen. Uh, you know, they say the millennials think different. No, we think different too. How a man think is so is he. But most of all, keep God first. Amen. Keep God first in your life. Because if you keep him first, he will do exceedingly abundantly above all you can ask or think. I tell you, I'm excited today for what God is doing in our lives. I tell you, God has did so much in the last week for me. I cannot tell it all because he's been that good. He's brought me out of a horrible time. But I can say one thing for sure. God is making a way out of nowhere in my life. Let us pray. Father, we thank you right now for what you're about to do on this broadcast today. This podcast is going to be fire. God, somebody going to know that, they, that they're great in their calling and they're going to be higher in their thinking. And my God, that thing that the enemy told them they couldn't do, they will do mighty exploits. They will do, they will exceed the expectation. They will do more than what people thought they would do. I tell you, God, you said greater is he that's in me than he that is in the world. I thank you for your word on yesterday, God, how the children of Israel went around for 40 years. And you know what? It was an 11-day journey, but we don't have to do that. Uh, Jesus is that cycle breaker. So we thank you today, God. We have the victory in Jesus' name. The blood is applied on today. I am excited, 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 excited. I don't know what you came to do, but I came to lift him up today. Hallelujah. We got so much going on in the news. People finding out that they're not perfect in these marriages. I was so disappointed, though. Uh, with Megan um, telling her and that beautiful man she was married to, Megan Good. Yes, oh, such precious people. But nevertheless, God is still with them. And I am praying for them, amen, that God will bring them through. First Peter 1 and 17, I'm telling you, meditate on that. I'm telling you, God will give you some great stuff. Today, I want to say to you, the cycle is broken. The cycle is broken because we know the cycle breaker. Amen. And Jesus is definitely that one. Amen. He gave his life for a wretch like me and you on today. Not just dying on the cross for you, but he lived a life before men to know that he died for the whole world, that we might know that we have eternal life. Amen. So we thank God for that word on today, knowing Jesus is the cycle breaker. Yes. Let me say this. He gave his life for me, not just by dying, but by living in me. His spirit came to dwell in me. And as we learn and listen we learn to live day by day. Holy is the name of our Lord. And let's live holy while we have the chance to live holy. Amen. We can break cycles, but it's up to us. Always, you know, write down, get you a ledger. And you know what? If you have habits, break them. Don't keep doing the same thing over. Get get you a journal and, and write it down. 
And if you did something, continue the same way. Start doing it a little different. Yeah. And change your habits and your behaviors. Yeah. So that you can start doing something a little different. And find out what makes you uh, go off sometimes and and do things that you know will upset you. Uh-huh. We got to find out what it is that makes us angry. Yes. And so find places and things to do that make you happy. Sometimes you can get happy by just getting you a little ice cream cone. Don't make that a habit because that's fattening. Amen. We ain't trying to get big. Amen. Get your salad. Amen. Uh, but you know that ice cream cone do sound good. But build up your belief system. Help my unbelief. I told the people of God on yesterday, that was one of the things that the children of Israel, they stayed in the wilderness so long because they were so full of unbelief, murmuring, complaining, always talking about, you brought us out of here to die. Oh, come on. You know, first you pray to God to deliver you. What are you going to do? Are you going to pray to God to deliver you? Are you going to stop complaining? Now you got delivered. Now you crossed the Red Sea. God got you over the Red Sea. Now you still complaining. Amen. But you got to break those demonic cycles. We got to know that sometimes we do things because of our forefathers, habits we have. You ever notice that there's some habits you got that your grandma used to do? I remember my sisters. They used to love to eat starch. And I never understood that, that white argo starch. I mean, you know about that old white starch. And my sisters them start eating starch. I didn't I didn't like starch. Uh -huh, that old white starch you start your clothes with. That's pica. Amen. But they liked that starch. And they would um eat that starch, and I'm telling you. I used to be saying, my God, why they like that star so much? But that was a generational thing. So let's break those cycles. Let's break generational curses. Tell the devil you are a liar and you are a father of lies. Amen. I came out of um, so many scriptures on yesterday. Exodus 1, uh, chapter 1, 8 through 14. I talked about uh, Joshua and Caleb as well, finishing the task. But I talked about the 40 days, 250 miles, but 11 days journey. And I said, God is saying to us, he's trying to tell us something. When we keep going through that same test, God is saying something to us. Stop trying to build a Mercedes out of for material. Amen. Not saying that you can't build a car out of it, but it won't be the same. Let God be God and you just be you. Amen. Those tests that they fail in the wilderness, I'm telling you, did not have to be, but God let it had it had to be for our good though. They always complain always murmuring. And you know, you got that in the church. There's always one, always got to keep the pack going. All that whispering and talking, the leader trying to lead. And there you go, got a corner going on, on that telephone after the instructions been released. They wanted to go back to Egypt. To, uh, you brought us out of here, Moses, to die. You know, because they got to a place uh, and the water was so bitter, you know, but God even touched the water for them. Amen. You know, bitter water is better than no water. Amen. But sometimes we complain even over everything. And they wanted to go back to Egypt where they forgot all about how they were slaves in Egypt. But nevertheless, you came out of that thing Remember now your former days. Don't go back to where God has delivered you. If he delivered you from being in a toxic relationship, don't you go back to toxicity. You stay out. I don't care if you don't have all the money you used to have when you was with Joe Blow. 
Stay with your little few dollars and be happy. Oh, I hear God saying hallelujah to me. Come on and give God praise. Unbelief and not having trust in God is definitely a sin. We must have belief in God. We must have faith because without faith, it is impossible to please our God. Amen. And rebellion is the sin of witchcraft. And you know, when God told him, he said he was going to feed them. He kept them with manna from on high. But there were some that was so disobedient. Even on the Sabbath, they went to go gather manna and what number worms. And that's what's wrong with us now. We ain't number gathering up worms when God told us to be still and know that I'm God. God is able to do just what he said he would do. And he will bring you through everything he said he would bring you through. I was telling the people that was 1,066,000 people, 1 people that crossed that Red Sea. My God, couldn't you imagine all those people hearing them crossing the Red Sea, all those idol worshipers? listening to those children of Egypt coming out, the Israelites crossing and hearing them just crossing over. The devil get mad when he know you're crossing. He get mad when he know you're crossing over to something better than what you left behind. Yeah, he going to set traps against you. You better mow your grass down low so you can see the snakes coming to you in this season. It is so many snakes in this season. Folk get jealous just because you get something new. Folk get jealous just because you get a new hairstyle. Folk get jealous just because you get a promotion in the spirit. Folk get jealous because God give you new insight on the spirit realm. Folk get jealous just because you get blessed with your grandchildren achieving some. Folk get jealous over dumb stuff. I need you to know God will bless the just as well as the unjust. Do not be jealous of no one, anyone, because he's the God that reigns on the just as well as the unjust. Those 40 years in the wilderness of wandering ought to do something to us. I'm telling you, it ought to do something for our spirit because God was letting us know something out of this, that we should stop being unbelievers. Because some of them died off. And those that didn't die off, if you keep on in these stories, like I told them, it would have took me at least, uh, I would say, four hours to take them through the Bible because God got angry with some. You go through numbers and you go through, you you just can't start at the beginning of uh, Exodus because God showed himself to Moses. You got to remember, Moses ran and hid. For 40 years, he came back and led at 80. He killed a man. He was a baby that was raised in Pharaoh's, you know, household. So he was raised with royalty. Know that. But he saw somebody coming up against his boy, which was an Israelite. Come on, somebody. He said, you can't do my man like that. And he ended up killing the man. So he was on the run. And that's what I'm trying to say to you. Know that God is with you. I don't care whether you in the pole house, whatever house, red house, green house, white house. God is there with you. And always know that if you put God first, he will never let you be last. He that dwelleth in the secret place of the Most High shall abide under the shadow of the Almighty. I will say unto the Lord, he is my refuge, my fortress, and my strength. My God, in him will I put my trust. You better put your trust in that 91st Psalm because God needs you to trust him like never before. I read out of Nehemiah 14 and 1, Exodus 10 and 12. If you want some homework, read these scriptures because I'm telling you, even when Moses had to go away just for 40 days on the mountain, they made a golden calf. They melted their gold. Leaders can't even go away for but a little while. Because guess what? The flock started getting crazy. 
they made a golden cow. That's right. And they began to worship this golden calf. But God is still merciful. And we pimp grace because we know grace is sufficient. You know, we are pimp grace. And even when Moses come down with the tablets, he said, who is on the Lord's side? God still made another altar call. He's making an altar call now with our wretched self. He know in this flesh dwelleth no good thing. But he said, who is is on the Lord's side? And, now, and guess what? Those that believe the word of God got on the right side. And those that didn't, they were on the left. So when God made that altar call and it was complete, the ground split and they went under. And you know where their eternity is. So today, while you have an opportunity, you can give God your heart. I don't care who did you wrong. Do them right. God, God said, pray for your enemy. Do right by them that despitefully use you. Because he's going to make your enemies your footstool. People, they go around acting like, oh, like they so sweet. You should hear the cliches they leave on Facebook. Love somebody or whatever. And they don't even know how to love themselves. They don't even know how to love their loved ones. Family first. Then shed abroad. Come on. You got your own sisters and brothers to love. And then you love somebody else. But I just wanted to stop by and tell you, God is breaking these cycles. We're breaking generational curses. Cycles are changing because we know the cycle breaker. Amen. He's in charge. And don't be an unbeliever. Be not, let, let me tell you something. Be not entangled with the yoke of bondage anymore. Stop it today. Stop trying to make wrong right and right wrong. Holiness is right. I'll take it to my grave. I had to go through some things in my life. But holiness is right. God bless you. I love you. This is your girl, Prophetess Teresa Moulton. Her apostolic voice, Isaiah 54 and 17. Until I see you again. God bless you. And tell somebody, call them. I love you. And tell them I love you in Jesus' name.